Hey everyone, MacDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the taxi and cabbie action figure from Jazzwares. I ordered this from Amazon for $19.99 and this thing looks nice. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. Over on the left, prepare your fare and hail a taxi. Then we got cabbie, first to the fare, first to the finish line. And at the bottom right corner we have the cross sail. We have seen all of these vehicles at this point. For those who want to see the barcode, here it is. Let's get this car out of its cardboard garage. If you are new to the channel, welcome and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. If you want to help the channel out and you play Fortnite, please feel free to add my creator code to your epic account. It's McDowan. Cabby is an uncommon skin and he's part of the Racer Royale set. Released in Chapter 1 Season 7, the skin can be purchased for 800 V-Bucks in-game when available. The taxi was introduced in Chapter 2 Season 3 and as of Season 8 is still in the game. This figure is number 148 of the Jazzwares 4-inch action figure line. Cabby stands about 4 inches tall, has 28 points of articulation, and I will go through that articulation here. Uh, I will want mention one thing. This figure that I got has a lot of little, I don't want to say defects, but probably quality issues in that I had to do a lot of trimming on the joints to pull out pieces of plastic. I had to soak the feet under hot water to get them to move. And even the back of the head has a crack in it, and I'll show you that uh, up close in just a moment after we go through the articulation. But the neck area is very tight. As you can see, you can't actually see the neck. It's like his head is sitting directly on this scarf. So he can't really move his head back and forth. He can't look up, and he can't look down. It's super tight. If that bothers you, then you probably could pop the head off. No, I'm not going to say that. That's right. These scarves are attached to the torso. So scratch that. He's kind of stuck with a neck brace of sort. Uh, his arms rotate at the shoulder. They will lift up. I've got to be careful. That one's broken there as well. I'm probably going to contact Jazzers about this figure. Uh, anyway, so his arms will lift up about that far. And I'll show you all the little uh, pieces that uh, I had to trim. He's got a rotation and a hinge at the elbow, a rotation and a hinge at the wrist when it wants to cooperate. His torso does wiggle, and it actually does pretty good. He can lean back about that far, can lean forward about that far. Oh, and he's got pretty good bend there for his elbow. The waist will rotate, you just got to grab the whole area and rotate the body. If you want him to do the splits, uh, after some squeaking, he can go about that far. He's got this little pouch on his left leg, on his left thigh, that kind of hinders how far up this leg goes, otherwise he would do them really pretty well. You might be able to see there's some gapping here in the thigh. This is where the thigh rotation happens. <laughs> He has double pin at the knee, and I do find it interesting. These seem to be a kind of uh, two different shades of yellow. I don't know if my lights will allow you to see that very well, but I can see it in person. Finally, he has at the ankle a rotation and a hinge. And it's funny, I don't know, you can see there's daylight right here. It's like the ball joint of this foot is floating above the... Above the uh, <laughs> that foot itself and so I have to be really careful I don't want to break the peg off in fact you can even see that more when it's up here it just looks really weird in person so he's fully articulate and generally speaking he moves really well with no real hindrance it's just in this neck area so let me bring this a little bit closer I'll rotate him around and so I'm gonna use my knife but like right there, you can see there's a crack forming at the back of the head. So I can't really force this to rotate too far, otherwise it might crack some more. On the left shoulder here, you can see there's a crack forming there, so I need to be careful about moving that. On his right elbow, this is just a weird thing. I'm not sure what's going on here. But you see right there, this is the hinge right there. 
Well, over here, this is like, um, I'm not sure if the, the, I don't know how figures are manufactured exactly. I'd love to, to actually see some figures being manufactured and made. And, but it almost looks like whatever created or cut this area out was somewhat a little bit off center and maybe cut over there because it looks almost even like a cutter did that. And so it's just kind of really strange. So I've got to be careful of that as well. <laughs> I'm not trying to, you know, be doom and gloom here. I'm just kind of showing you things to maybe watch for on your figures because it'd be really interesting to know if this is a unique, unique thing or if this is something uh, taxi wide. This area right here, I better do it this way, is a little bit separate. I was been trying to push the thigh and the leg together, but it's just not going together. I don't think I can actually pull the feet off of the figure now. It's it's cooled up quite a bit since I, um, yeah, I don't want to break it. But uh, in here, I actually had to use this knife, and I had to go through and clean right through these ratcheted joints, this hinge area. I had to go and cut off a lot of piece pieces that were kind of stuck in there. I had a good little pile of plastic that I cut out from in there. So... I would say just kind of if you get this set then just kind of be aware that oh my gosh there's a bug here go away <laughs> be aware um take this figure and just be real gentle and easy with it don't take it out of the package and just start bending it and twisting it all over i would recommend looking at some of these joints because that's what i usually do all right uh, enough about this figure. It is time to jump in and look at the taxi. Here we have the taxi, and I've got to say, it is another really fun looking vehicle from Jazzwares. The design is nice, and it matches, I think looks really close, really similar to the game. Very well. <laughs> it just looks really nice. I like this really bright yellow. I think it makes it very appealing, very fun to want to to reach over and grab it and roll it around and play with it. The wheels turn as you can see and actually is really good. I think it makes a little bit more noise than the Whiplash does or did in the review video. I'm not, I can't remember. I think the Whiplash wheels were smooth. These have some grooves in it so it kind of looks like rubber tires. So that could be why it's making more noise rolling around. Now what's another, what's one of the really neat things, I'll get my words straight here, is that, as you probably saw earlier, all four doors open up. That means you can put figures in all four seats. There is a lot of room in there. And looking under here, it looks like quite a bit of this area under the hood is hollow and wide open. So you can really stick some feet way, way in there. So that's pretty cool that this fits four figures. The Whiplash fits two figures. So, just kind of looking at this for a, a minute or so, I, de I have determined in my future wisdom that will come true probably one day in the future, that these side view mirrors right here might be the most external fragile pieces on this vehicle. They bend around a little bit, but they're sticking out here. They don't seem to be real sturdy on here. So if these snag or get bumped, these are probably the first things breaking off. This taxi sign seems to be on there really sturdy. And there's this little antenna thing back here. This, I think, is not as bad. Let's do that. There you go. This is not as bad because it's kind of protected from the, with this taxi sign. So I think that's okay. You've got these back here. I believe this is what, for luggage on, an, on a real taxi? I, it might snag and break, but I think these are gonna be more susceptible to breakage than this. I think this is attached just a little bit better. So yeah, really cool. This is, this is great, I, I love this car. I, I know the whiplash is kinda cool, but you know, there's something cool about this as well. So, okay, so one thing I did want to mention that I was just kind of thinking off the top of my head here is this is a basic vehicle, 20 bucks, figure and a vehicle. 
So I understand they can't do a lot of crazy things with this vehicle. However, I know that there are customizers out there in the toy community. And so I would like to see, or if someone chooses to do this, I want to see, I want to know if someone is able to put some LED lights behind these it, they look translucent. Uh, I didn't. Sh I should have shined the light in there, but these almost look like a bit of a translucent plastic here. I think it'd be really cool if somebody could get in here and put some LED lights behind here that could be turned on and the headlights would work. This uh, black piece, I can't tell. Yeah, I think this black piece actually is separate from the yellow piece. So you might be able, oh, you know what? There's a lot of screws down here. I bet if you take off this bottom, you'll get full access to the inside. I just might uh, open that up and take a peek to see what kind of access you could gain. But yeah, to any customizer out there, someone who wants to take on a small project to you know, customize this taxi, I think uh, headlights would be really awesome. Let's flip it around to the back here. I don't think that would work on the tail lights unless you actually see these uh this translucent orange is just on top of yellow plastic you'd have to actually cut the cut the body away to get that to be open well maybe yeah 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 i can see it right through there so you'd have to actually cut away part of the body to get lights to but yeah, this is pretty neat. Okay, so let's try a couple figures in here real quick. So we've got Cabby. He came with a... One thing that uh, bothered me or bugged me a little bit was that they put X-Lord with the whiplash. I mean, the dude, got, the, the dude has a coat. And so to put him in a vehicle was... Well, you'd have to take the coat off for that to work. Oh, come on. Please say he can get in here. Oh, man. Can, there we go. Thank goodness. Boom. All right, we got Cabby in there. He's in there. He's driving his taxi. So let's see. I've got a pile of action figures over here that I'm going to set right here so I can get to them easy. So let's start trying some random action figures. So one thing I'm noticing is that it looks like between the two doors, it might be easier to put a figure in the front door than the back door. So the first one I've got here is a Halo Marine. A Halo Marine. I'll shut the front door. I'm going to put him in the back first. Well, his head just fell off, so he may not like this taxi. I don't know. So you could get the Halo Marine in there. Can't really see him in there, but he is in there. So the Halo Marine, of course, he's a little bit smaller than four inches. He's going to lose his head, probably. I can't get him out now. <laughs> he's, he's just out. He's had a night on the town like you wouldn't believe. All right, so next we have a Marauders figure. Not really sure exactly how much I need to bend parts of these figures to slide them in. We'll see if... Oh, by the way, there's some room. It's kind of difficult to see. I'm going to adjust my lights down. See if you can... It doesn't really help. You have to trust me, but there is space under these seats. The seats are kind of hollow, the front seats. So you can slide legs under the seats. I think the most difficult thing is going to be once you get the figure in, you've got to get their head kind of tucked under. All right, so... We have a Marauders figure in there. That works quite well. And he, I'm sure he fits in the front. I'll just do a few more figures. Yep, he fits very well in the front. Right there, Cabby's got a co-pilot. Let's see. So what about somebody like Peely? Well, um, I, I think you can guess. I'll show you anyway. I think you can guess what's going to happen here. So we get him tucked in. And I'd say... Uh, no banana. No banana's gonna work. Unless he's passed out in the back. There. If he's like passed out, sleeping, laying, there. You know, Peely can get in there that way. Unfortunately, this, the way the doors work on this, you can't really fake putting Peely in here like you could through the whiplash. Alright, so we got a Superman from Spin Master. I'm sure 
he's a little bit smaller than four inches so I'm sure he will yep Superman will fit in there just fine most of these figures will I think the problem is gonna be with a lot of Fortnite figures let's say we got kit here kit will get partially in but then obnoxiousness hits and uh, oh 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 there we go okay kind of sorta kits in there but the cat part actually fell off so it's kind of just jammed up there so kit can fit in the back I already tried it earlier kit cannot fit in the front but it looks like they're <laughs> okay fitting and getting in and out is are two different things didn't think about that come on you get your exhaust out here okay so let's see we got eight ball here we'll stretch him up and yep eight ball will fit in here just fine i would say the majority of fortnite action figures will be fitting in here i'm not going to go through any more i think that's a uh, plenty i guarantee a master chief will not fit in here well i shouldn't say that i'll do another video at some point where we like try out a lot of them because i would like to come up with an actual comprehensive list of which figures will fit in these vehicles and which ones won't so that's kind of cool all right, so now it is your turn. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I tried to. Uh, I'm gonna move these figures here. I tried to jump to my my ending before I gave you the the overall thoughts here. So I think this is another fun vehicle from Jazzwares. And while this may not be the cool Whiplash, you know the the awesome sports car or the awesome sports looking car, the the aerodynamic fast mover I mean, this is just a what a prevalent a taxi this is still fun to play with you can get this sucker down on your floor you could go vroom 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 all day long you could have a blast yeah, and it also displays actually pretty good too for the price point of 20 bucks for a figure and a vehicle i think this is really a really good deal i do highly recommend this set for for a lot of different reasons and for a lot of different uh, people so and the fact that as i was showing you you could use this with other action figures i'm going to just keep moving this thing around in fact you can put other four inch figures you don't have to get this just for fortnite i know it kind of has a bit of a cartoony design and look but you can get this for any four inch action three to three and four to four inch action figure line and it will work for them you don't even have to use cabby you could buy it and set cabby off to the side or or whatever but yeah i highly recommend this if you're able to get it so i highly recommend you get this and if you see some and you have a little extra money and you are in the giving and donating spirit i highly recommend grabbing a few extras and throwing them in the toys for tots bin this holiday season i think this is this is almost a perfect playset for with a vehicle that roll rolls around with wheels and a figure i think this is a really great set no, now it's your turn. Now I'm going to jump jump back to where I'm supposed to be. Now it's your turn. What do you think about this vehicle set? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. But before you get away, check out my, if you haven't already, a lot of people have, check out my review of the Whiplash. It's in the lower left corner. Anyway, thank you for stopping by and watching. Please like this video and share it everywhere if you found it helpful because it does help the channel a lot to grow. I will see you in the next video.